Starting things off, we actually have a new work in progress mod by Nova Fincher. This actually all might be part of the same mod. Regardless, it's the M392 DMR, this being the DMR from the Halo series. Nova Finch is the guy that's been working on all of these Halo styled weapons. A few of them have gotten released already, but there's a lot more work in progress. And honestly, it seems like he's making some real high quality content. I don't know if this is going to be a weapon pack or all these are going to be released individually. Either way, the DMR here is looking top notch. We also got some updates on some of his other weapons. The M7, which is the ODST submachine gun is getting animations along with the MA5D, which of course is that iconic Halo assault rifle that we all have probably used at least once. I'm really hyped for this. I know I've talked about it a bit in the past, but I'm a massive Halo fan. Not so much the later games, but Halo 1, 2, 3, those are like my bread and butter. That's really what got me into video games. I'm really hyped to get this along with using that Master Chief armor that's currently available. Using them in tandem is going to be cool, and I'm definitely going to be making kind of a loadout video when all these are released. So we do have the LZ-127 Graf Zeppelin. This is going to be part of a larger airship mod by Galirho. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Regardless, the airship mod is going to include this along with some other airships, most notably the Hindenburg, that really iconic airship that caught on fire. Either way, this thing looks badass. So it seems like this is going to be kind of a player home, a settlement of sorts. Of course, the notable part is it's a massive flying airship, very similar to the Pridwin in Vanilla Fallout 4. Except this one, you could use the entirety as your player home. The exterior shots are cool, but looking at that interior, this looks like a proper living condition, somewhere you are going to want to live in Fallout 4. Even from the few pictures we do have, you can see a lot of the different features and living conditions are going to be top notch. Plus, this one's extremely different. Obviously, having your mansion is going to be cool, and there's a lot of mansion mods for Fallout 4 right now, but this is, you know, a flying airship is pretty notable. It's definitely going to be something a bit different. I imagine that's going to attract a lot of people to this mod. So we have some updated animations for the Rusty Sten. I showed you guys some of these last episode, but these of course are again the updated variant. Having more details and all around just looking a lot better. These I think are a little bit more polished. You could definitely see the animations just look smoother. We still don't have the proper kind of reload animation part that is not included in this set yet, but I imagine that's going to be coming very shortly and I'm pretty hyped for that also. The Sten of course being a pretty notable gun. You've used it in Call of Duty World at War. You've probably seen it in some movies, maybe even used it in real life. And of course we do have the defense gun for Fallout 4, which is going to be fairly similar to this. Either way though, the animations on this one are going to obviously be top notch because they are being done by War Daddy and for that reason you should be hyped. So we do have another update to Project Cyberdog. So I haven't covered this too much, but basically it seems like this mod author is really adding in a lot of kind of additional content to his original base mod. If you don't know, more or less is going to be a robotic dog trying to recreate Rex, but taking his own liberties and modifying some things where he feels appropriate. Here we do have the fur pattern. This one's actually going to be more of a mix between a German Shepherd and a Husky. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. It has that whole weird eye thing. What is that? Like something chromatic? As well as I really love the canine unit on the back. And I feel like these images are just really showing a lot of the details that will be included with this mod. It really is looking extremely high quality. I covered a lot of this mod and it really seems like he is getting to the final stages of it, so hopefully we'll have a downloadable version at least shortly. Then we do have the SVD Dragonov. We've had a few other mods in this category, but nothing quite like this. This one definitely is looking really high quality and quite special. I know a lot of people have been hyped for this kind of weapon to appear in Fallout 4, so hopefully this is the one. This mod author has actually released a few other weapons for Skyrim and those ported over to Skyrim Special Edition, but nothing yet for Fallout 4, so this may be his introduction to the scene. This is going to be a pretty cool gun to bring on your first mod, so hopefully he gets it right and I'm definitely rooting for him. Last but not least, we do have some more updates to the Bozar, this time taking a look at some of the attachments that will be available for the gun. So starting things off, we do see a folding forward grip. It is in the folded position right here, obviously. We also do see the top rail as well as some of these sights. Just a lot of close-ups here going on. You can really see some of the detail that this gun is going to have. But then you get a really nice kind of overview shot of the gun as a whole. This is going to be in the kind of markdown version, not having a scope, not having the other miscellaneous attachments that you do get in the follow-up picture. This time you actually have that grip or bipod folded down as well as you do have the scope and the whole nine yards on the gun. And then finally at the end, they have a GIF where you can actually see a lot of the different variants that from the kind of basic Bozar that you know and love to some of the other more modified versions that will be available with this mod. This thing is coming together really nicely and I'm super hyped to get this one. Deadpool has produced a lot of high quality weapons, but it's actually been quite a while since his last release. So I'm interested to see how he takes this one. That's pretty much it. As always, again, I thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you all next time. Later.